Our top story, two people are recovering after being hurt in the crossfire of a shooting. The search for at least three suspects continues after the early morning shooting at 10 Pin Alley on Nesbitt Road in Fitchburg. News 3's Brad Jameson has more. Business at 10 Pin Alley is rolling right along despite overnight violence. I heard it on the news first thing this morning. Police say just after midnight, at least 11 shots were fired by three different guns following an argument in the parking lot. There had been a disturbance that broke out uh, involving initially between some females, then spilled over into some males who uh, were friends of those women. Two bystanders, a 15-year-old male from Milwaukee and an 18-year-old female from Madison were hurt. One was shot in the leg, the other cut by flying glass when a car window was shot out. They'd been in the area talking with friends after having bowled, saw the fight broke out, decided to get out of the area. Bowling Alley's manager says the incident is a first. We kind of talked that people are starting to hang around more than often, um, but no incidents of any type, uh, nothing that we thought would lead to any type of escalation of any problems of any type. Bill Pounders is considering changes, like ending bowling specials at 10 p.m. and increasing staff. We've never had any type of incident in the past. Um, it's just that uh, we just amazed that it actually happened out in the parking lot. Officials caution to also watch what's happening outside. Police say the fight escalated for at least 15 minutes before shots were fired. Call the police prior to it um, developing into a situation like this. You know, if somebody was to call when the disturbance first began, it may not have got to this extent. Police have identified several people involved in the fight and are looking over surveillance video to try to determine who the shooters were. However, at this time, no one is in custody. The victims are expected to be okay. And Brad, for weeks we've been hearing about the threat of gang violence. Any reason to believe that had anything to do with this? Not with this particular incident. Police do not believe gangs or drugs are directly linked with this shooting, saying it again, it started with that shooting. Now, the bowling alley's managers say they may no longer allow minors at the bowling alley past 10 p.m. on Monday nights and will be quick to call 911 in the future. Brad Champson, our news center tonight. Brad, thank you very much.